Hello, everyone. I'm Jimin Wang, a PhD student from Beihang University. The paper I will be presenting today is titled Edge Guided Near Eye Image Analysis for Head Mounted Displays. The authors of this work. My talk will be in five parts. Firstly, I'll be speaking about the background of near eye tracking. Recently, eye tracking has been used in many applications. It can be applied to formulated rendering, redirected walking, gaze-based interaction, and behavior analysis. Researchers have made efforts to develop robust near eye tracking techniques. These methods need to compute good relative features, such as pupil center, pupil ellipse, and iris ellipse from infrared eye images. Some of them search the features based on the morphological processing, while CNN based methods directly regress pupil centers or perform image semantic segmentation. For example, DeepVOG uses the UNET to segment out the pupil area and then fit an ellipse on it. USAG segments out complete pupil and area structures and showed its effectiveness when dealing with partially occluded pupil or area contours. We observe that most discriminate information in the eye image is encoded in certain edge areas, including two eyelids, pupil contour, and iris contour. We call it task-related edges. Such edges are highly related to the high-level semantic tasks. We propose a novel near-eye image analysis method with edge maps as guidance. Specifically, we first utilize an edge extraction network to predict high quality edge maps, which only contain eyelids and iris pupil contours without other undesired edges. Then we feed the edge maps into an edge guided segmentation and fitting network for accurate segmentation and ellipse fitting. I will introduce the pipeline of our work to acquire sufficient realistic training images. We further propose the image intensity transfer approach for generating realistic images from synthetic images. The edge extraction network is optimized with adversarial learning to produce high-quality edge maps. We then propose an edge-guided semantic and fitting network. Both eye images and the generated edge maps are fed into the network to perform multitask learning. The network respectively generates the eye segmentation and regress the ellipse parameters of pupil and errors. In addition, we notice the regressed parameters usually are inaccurate. We also propose the adaptive search model to search the optimal ellipse parameters with the guidance of the semantic maps. Next, I will introduce the details of our work. There are two challenges in the task-related edge extraction. First, to eliminate task unrelated edges. The images show the results of edge extraction utilizing the canny decaction. Many undesired edges such as eyelashes, glasses, and glands are extracted. Second, to complete task-related edges. For example, the lane bus is blurry due to the ambient infrared illumination 
This caused the task-related edges lost. E2Net contains an edge generator and a discriminator. We optimize the generator by minimizing the combination of cross atrophy loss and adverse serial loss. The discrimination network aims to correctly distinguish inputs. Please cons consult our paper for more details. We use sufficient uh, synthetic images for training the E2Net. However, there is large difference between the real and the synthetic images. To solve this problem, we propose the I2T method for producing realistic images from synthetic images. We use the dimensionality reduction to visualize the synthetic and the real images in 2D space before and after I2T. The comparison also shows that I2T shortens the gap between synthetic and real images. Firstly, we sample 10,000 images from four real near eye datasets. Secondly, given a real image, we divided it into three subregions, which respectively contain iris and sclera, skin and pupil. Then we calculate the intensity histogram of each subregion. Thirdly, we fit three mixture Gaussian distributions, which corresponds to the distributions of three subregion histograms. Firstly, we employ the histogram matching algorithm and perform a matching that transforms the intensities of the source image towards the target. The image shows the procedure of ally image intensity. ESFNet utilizes the edge maps to get the eye segmentation and the ellipse parameter fitting. Indeed, the encoder, decoder, and the regression model can be arbitrary. In this paper, we employ the DESL net as the backbone to layer MLP for regression model similar to YOSEG. We found the regressed parameters usually are inaccurate. To this end, we propose ASM to search the optimal ellipse on the guidance of segmentation maps. The searching goal is to maximize the value of IOU between the segmentation map and the ellipse formed by parameters. In this work, we employ the synthetic eye dataset as our trained dataset. We evaluate our work on four publicly real datasets, NVGIS AR, OpenEDS, LPW, and 4. The star indicates that we employ annotations presented in TLD and their ground truth. Quantitative comparison results as shown in the table, in average, our method surpasses the second best method by 4% and 9% in pupil and iris ellipse fitting accuracy, respectively. Our E and our E and I achieve generally similar average results. This demonstrates the advantage of using our extracted high quality edges in segmentation and ellipse fitting, even without using the original image as input. Visual examples are shown in the image under the guidance of the task-related edge. Our model is more interested in boundary region, thus smooths the contours of segmentation map, and segments more accurate ellipse shape. Besides, our method is rarely affected by disturbances, like the reflections on the glasses. To demonstrate the usability of our method, we assess the YOSEC and the ESFNet in the customized AR device. We also implemented 
the 2D gaze estimation task in the AR device, our system estimates gaze with an error of only about 0 0.38 degree on average. This video shows the visual comparison between your SAG and ours which demonstrates the advantage of using such high-quality edge maps in eye image segmentation and ellipse fitting. Currently, we collected data by using our device and assessed the network offline. In the future, we will conduct more online tests with the AI device in real time. Besides, we can use knowledge distillation to optimize our network for energy efficient application. We will fit 3D model based on a set of AI features, which can mitigate the effect of device slippage and improve the stability of gate estimation, code and model at this URL. Thanks for your time and interest in our work.